الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم The foundation of Islam is built upon the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the understanding of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. And we read this statement before but it's such a uh, very wise and beneficial statement from a great imam of our salaf Imam Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala and I just wanted to share this beautiful statement about the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also some of the benefits from Shaykh Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali what he said in his explanation of this statement may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him hafizallahu ta'ala so Imam Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala said والأساس الذي تبنى عليه جماعة وهم أصحاب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رحمهم الله جميعا أجمعين وهم أهل السنة والجماعة فمن لم يخذ عنهم فقد ضل وابتدع وكل بدعة ضلالة وضلالة وأهلها في النار. so Imam Babahari رحمه الله تعالى he said that the foundation on which the jama'ah, when we say Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, what do we mean by Jama'ah? Imam Babahari is explaining to us. He says that the foundation which the Jama'ah or the group is built upon, they are the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah have mercy upon all of them. Wuhum Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and they are the people of the Sunnah and the Jama'ah. So whoever takes from them or whoever does not take from them has been misguided or is misguided and has innovated. And every innovation is misguidance and misguidance and its people are in the fire. Sheikh Rabi Hafizullah Ta'ala said Al asas alladhi tabna alayhi al jama'ah huwa kitab Allah wa sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa khayran man altazama bi kitab Allah wa sunnah Rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam huwa ashab Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so he said that the foundation which the jama'ah is built upon it is the Quran, the Book of Allah, and the Sunnah of the His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the best of those people who adhered strictly to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they are the companions of Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, radiyallahu taalaanu majmain. Then the Shaykh went on to say, fil aqaidi wal ibadati wal jihadi wal amri bil marufi wal nahiyan al munkar. وفي سائر شون الدينية والدنيوية وقد أثنى الله عليهم وزكاهم وأخبر أنه رضي عنهم وردوا عنه وهم خير الأمة أخرجت للناس يأمرون بالمعروف وعلى رأسه التوحيد. So the Sheikh went on to say that the companions of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم that they adhered strictly to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They are the companions of the of, of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and they adhered strictly in aqaid, in their creed, wa ibadat, and in their worship, wal jihad and jihad, and amr bi maruf and al munkar, which means to command the good and forbid the evil, and in all the affairs contained in the religion and in this worldly life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised them and he he uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala he praised them and gave them uh, and, and declared that they are praiseworthy and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed 
has informed us that he is pleased with them and that they are pleased with him and that they are the best of the nation that has ever uh, come to the people or come from people and they command the good and at the head of their affairs or at the tip of their affairs is Tawheed meaning that the the, the best uh, thing in which they the best way in which they commanded the good was delivering Islamic monotheism Tawheed and they prohibited munkar you know evil deeds and at the head of the evil deeds or the, the greatest of the evil deeds is shirk is polytheism will bid'a and innovation meaning innovation in the religious matters meaning in ibadah in those affairs that pertain to the religion we're not talking about bid'a in uh, by having a car instead of driving a camel or having a cell phone instead of uh, visiting others but in fact the bid'a that is referred to here that the ulama speak about they talk about bid'a within the sharia that this is madhmum this is prohibited this is against and in a changing of the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and, and a distortion of the principles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spouses fi kitabihi al karim and that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam espoused in his authentic sunnah salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad